So many brands have nailed the perfect black liquid liner, but what about brown liquid liner? Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining in today. Now, brown liquid liner is by far my favorite. It used to be black for so many years, but these last couple of years, I wanted something softer, not so dramatic, and brown has just been my go-to, whether it's liquid or pencil. Today, I'm gonna to be going over eight different brown liquid liners. Now, it's a mix between felt tip, brush tip, so hopefully I have something that you might be interested in. For this video, I want to focus on drugstore brands. If you guys wanna see a higher end version, please let me know in the comments below. Since I'm testing out eight different brown liquid liners, this is going to take about three days. So my plan is to do one eye for each liner, and then we're going to do three separate wear tests, and we're just gonna see which one's the best. I want to include a variety just in case you can't get your hands on some brands, but you can with others. For today's video, I'll be reviewing Essence Eyeliner Pen, Wet n Wild Felt Tip Eyeliner, NYX Epic Ink Liner, Physicians Formula Eye Booster Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner, Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Eyeliner, and the L'Oreal Infallible Liquid Eyeliner, the Super Slim. Now that I covered everything, let's get into it. For this experiment, I'm not going to be wearing any eyeshadow primer for the next three days. I just want to see how the eyeliners do on their own. Today I'll be wearing the Essence Eyeliner Pen on my right side and the Wet n Wild on my left side. Starting off with the Essence Eyeliner Pen. This looks very standard. I haven't tried too many Essence products. The cap is really hard to get off. I don't know why. Look at this guys. I'm not being over dramatic. It's just really tough and snugged in. Ugh. Okay. Finally got it. So this is what it looks like. It has a felt tip. The tip is not as thin as what I would usually go for. I personally prefer a brush tip, but I know there are others that really like felt tips, so I wanted to include both. Whenever I use a liquid liner, I must tight line. Right now, this one is my favorite. It is so tiny. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pencil. It's in the shade brown. It's so stubby. I've gone through so many of these, but it works so well, and I think this is a great product to use while I test everything else out because I know this is not gonna budge. So I just like to tight line to make my lash line look more intense and fuller. And with any liquid liner, make sure to shake it up. This is a really pretty shade of brown. It's like not too dark, but not too light. Something that I did notice, it seems quite uh, light like the formula you do have to go over it a couple times I think if you did it once it would be a little too light again the tip is not as fine as I would like it to be I don't know if you guys can tell but the tip of my wing it's just not as dark and it was hard to go over it more than once because I don't want to make my wing any bigger so this one is the wet n wild felt tip liner it is a bit smaller in length. Now this shade, it says dark brown, so I'm going to assume it's going to be a little bit darker. That cap was really easy to take off. Now this is what the tip looks like. Again, we're comparing felt tip to felt tip. The Wet n Wild tip looks a touch thinner compared to the Essence one, so that might be a little bit better. But besides that, they look pretty close. Wow, this one is more pigmented. It's definitely a darker brown. Even though the Wet n Wild one is more pigmented, it is kind of splotchy. Like I tried to go over this side right here a couple of times and when I would put the pen on the area, it would kind of remove what was there, which was really weird. Let me see if I can get that on camera. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Like I'm just going over the spot and it's just like coming off. Can you believe that? That's crazy. I don't think I've ever had that happen to me with any kind of liquid eyeliner. So I'm already thinking wet and wild is just not it. I don't even know if I can save this. I kinda did, but it's still splotchy. It's just not as obvious. I'm going to quickly put on mascara and I'll be right back. And we're back. Just a reminder, I'm wearing the Essence on my right eye and the Wet n Wild on my left eye. My eyes just look okay, if I'm being totally honest, but I wanna see at the very end for this wear test. I don't have really high hopes for the Wet n Wild one, as you guys can see with that application, but we'll just see. You know, we have to give them their full chance. I will see you guys later today and the next few days. All right, see you later. 
And we're back. This is the first wear test for the review. So I'm looking a bit oily, which is nothing new. I'm just, I don't know, after having oily skin for my whole life, you just get used to it. But on camera, it doesn't look too bad. Like I feel like my skin looks like glowy, a little dewy, but in person, it's definitely more intense. Anyway, let's see how these eyeliners look. Starting off with the Essence eyeliner, I can tell right now that it has smudged on the inner corner. You can't really uh, see too much of it. Like it definitely has disappeared. My actual wing is still there. Like it's, it hasn't moved. Usually I have problems more on the inner corner just because of my crease. Just like my eye shape, I have mono lids. The actual wing usually stays put. Now, looking at the other side, Wet n Wild, still nice and pigmented, that dark brown. Um, It really hasn't moved at all. It has separated just a tiny bit right before where my wing starts, but honestly, it looks pretty good. Between these two, I would do Wet n Wild. Again, don't you remember in the beginning when I was applying Wet n Wild, it was like coming off when I was doing like multiple layers? That's not good. Good. I'm just not a fan of felt tip eyeliners. I can't get a really sharp thin wing and they dry up so easily But I know there are people out there that love felt tips. So I had to include these so we got to see how the other liners do I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning guys. It's the next day So today I'm going to be testing out the true drugstore brands These are the ones that I tend to think about when I think of drugstore and that's L'Oreal and Maybelline This one is the L'Oreal Infallible which happens to be the same pencil liner that I use Which is what I like to tight line and that stuff is amazing Amazing. So I'm hoping to have good results with this one. And the other one is the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. So L'Oreal on my right eye and Maybelline on my left eye. According to the packaging, this is the Super Slim. It has a 0.4 millimeter tip. It's a felt tip to be precise. So you guys already know, felt tips aren't my go-to, but we'll see how it works. Don't forget to shake up your pens. It's always important, especially if you've had one for a while. And when these have been in the stores, just kind of sitting around, you might just need to shake them up. Wow, that cap was super easy to take off. Almost a little too easy that it could easily come off. This tip is so fine, but it's also very long. Wow, since that tip is so fine, I was able to easily get my inner corner and just press it down and even this outer corner. And I really like how pigmented this is. Like you didn't have to go over it multiple times like the other one. It's just really nice. Initially, the application was very easy. This is the Maybelline one in Forest Brown. It actually looks very similar to the L'Oreal one, especially because this part, this is just like kind of like a grip on like, you know, pencils have grips, those mechanical ones, kind of similar to that. So it's pretty comfortable. And then the tip also very similar it's a felt tip and it looks really fine at the end and just to compare both of them side by side they honestly look identical like everything about it the tip the little cushion pretty close the maybelline one looks like it's the same shade as brown as the l'oreal one and it looks really good the fine tip allowed me to get my inner corners and also do the wing overall it looks really good i almost can't tell which is which now i'm going to put on some mascara for these wear tests, I like to use the same makeup, specifically the mascara, knowing that we're focusing on the eyes. I've been using the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. If you guys wanna see a full-on review focusing on this product, I'll leave the video right here. As of right now, these both look the same. Even the packaging, how it looks on the eyes, the application, they're both felt tips. So far, so good. But I will say I've had a better experience with these two than Wet n Wild and Essence. But we'll have to see with the wear test, so I'll see you guys later today. And we're back. It's around 5.30 and I have to say, I know this isn't a foundation review, but my skin looks pretty good. I'm wearing the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. If you guys haven't checked it out, it is totally worth the hype. I did a full review if you guys want to see me swatching it and everything and a full wear test. I'll leave the video right here. Let's talk about the liquid eyeliners. So far, just from what I can see, not even looking in a mirror, they look really great. I don't even see any smudging, nothing. 
So both of these are now better than the Essence and the Wet n Wild. But which one out of these two are better? I see no creasing in the inner corner, which always happens. And even though I'm not wearing any primer, it is doing so well. Nothing on my lower lash line, nothing in like the inner corner either. Sometimes makeup will build up in there, specifically eyeliner, and none of that is happening and the wings are looking really great. It's as almost if I just applied them and both sides look really great, the exact same. I'm really shocked, especially since this is a felt tip. Now with felt tips, again, they dry out pretty easily. So I'm curious to see maybe in a couple of months if they're still working pretty well. You guys will just have to catch me for my lash wear test tomorrow. I'll see you later, bye. Good morning, today is the final wear test. I'm super excited because I just wanna find out what is the best drugstore brown look Liquid eyeliner. These two drugstore brands I really enjoy. Every time I go to a CVS, a Walgreens, I always check out these brands. This one is the Physicians Formula Eye Booster Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner. And the other one is the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. Both of these have amazing reviews. Now I have tried the NYX one, which I will go over in a sec, but this one I'm so curious. I've always passed it, but I never picked it up. I really don't buy Physicians Formula eye products. I kind of stay focused more on their blushes and their bronzers. So far, I haven't tested any brush tips, and that's because they're really hard to find, but not these two. We're gonna start off with Physicians Formula on my right eye and NYX on my left eye. Shake, shake, shake. Wow, this tip reminds me of KVD Beauty. I think that's what the brand is called now. It's so fine, it has a beautiful brush tip. I really think I'm going to enjoy this one. I totally forgot to tight line my eyes, so I'm going to quickly do that. Again, this is the same one that I've been using for the last two days. I don't have too many more uses of this, but you better believe I have backups. <laughs> I'm running out and I really need to sharpen it, but I don't want to get a sharpener right now. Anyway, let's go apply the Physician's Formula. That pigment is so good. I don't even feel like I have to go over it multiple times like the first two I tried like in one swipe just like that even that wing that was so easy so easy oh my gosh guys this might be it I know I'm saying it a little too soon without the wear test but that application was phenomenal oh and the shade is deep brown so the next epic ink liner I've tried both colors brown and black I've had really great experiences with the black one I've actually gotten two of them and I have tried the brown one in the past maybe over a year ago but the thing is and it might have been a fluke which is why I want to try it again for you guys it wasn't very pigmented and it dried out so easily which was very surprising for a brush tip that really ever happened which makes me think that I just got it done so we're gonna try this again so the tip again just like KVD Beauty look how fine that tip is and even the look of it something that I noticed from this initial application it's a bit drier than the other one and it's exactly how I remembered it now right now the pigmentation is pretty good as you guys can see and it's pretty obvious it's pretty obvious that the NYX is a medium brown and that the Physicians Formula is a deep brown which makes sense because Physicians Formula said it's a deep brown but I almost like the NYX one as far as the shade of brown just because from far away the physician's formula kind of looks black you know but then the next one it truly does look like a brown shade so just to compare both brush tips honestly they look identical even how fine they are so so similar the only difference that i see is that physician's formula is just a touch longer now that doesn't really bother me i actually kind of like a shorter brush nothing too long because if it's too long it gets really flimsy and my one complaint about the nyx one is if you get the black shade and the brown you can't really tell which is which because both have black packaging i feel like they could have easily chosen a medium brown shade just to decipher it a little bit easier but besides that they're basically the same but i do think the black one it's more wet that's the word. That's the word I was trying to figure out earlier. It just has a more wet consistency versus the brown. And I don't know why. It's so it's so strange because the black one is so, so good. But we'll see with the wear test. I'm going to apply my mascara. Much better. So my initial thoughts with these two. I really like both of them. There's pros and cons for each of them, but just right off the bat, I really like how this applied. It was nice and wet, but I like this shade just a little more. It's kind of hard to tell that it's brown. You kind of can tell, but I feel like maybe other people won't notice. But this one is truly a brown shade. 
You know what I mean? But we'll just see with the wear test, so I'll see you guys later today. Guys, let's talk about these two. I have thoughts. Starting off with the Physician's Formula. I have nothing bad to say about this. It works so well. The only con that I have to say is that it is so close to being a black. Like, it is such a deep brown. But if you are using a black and you really want to transition to a brown, I think this is a great in-between just to, like, test out the waters to see if you like brown liquid eyeliner. I can't believe I haven't tried this sooner because it's so good. And now I'm thinking, I really should try out the black one because if I'm enjoying this one, I'm most likely going to enjoy the black one. But on the other hand, the next one, I love the black one, but the brown one, it's always like a hit or miss. Now, right now, as a brand new liquid liner, it works really well. I love this shade of brown. I think from all of the brown liquid liners, I love this shade the most just because when you see it on your face, it does look like a true brown, like a medium brown tone. So for that reason, I love the shade, but I have a feeling after a month, it's going to get pretty dry and you're just going to like keep on applying and it won't be as pigmented as it once was. As far as smudging and the actual wear of it, they both look really great. Like, they haven't moved at all. They're still nice and dark. I don't see any smudging going on in the inner or outer corner. So, both of these are pretty good. So, for that reason, between these two, I think this one's it. Yep. This one's it. So now that I've tested out all of these brown liquid liners, which one is the worst and which one's the best? First, I want you guys to guess, and if you made it this far, let me know in the comments below. Have you guys tried these out? But also, which one do you think is the worst and the best? For me, the worst drugstore brown liquid liner has to be the Essence one. One, the packaging, it's just so tough to open. Let me see if I can even do it on the spot. Like it's really tough. As you guys can tell, you really have to pull at it. The tip is not fine enough for my liking. I like something a little more fine. And also it's a felt tip. There are better felt tip liners that I tried in this video. You guys should really check out the Maybelline or their L'Oreal. It's way better than this one. And the best one, which you probably can guess, is the Physicians Formula one. This one is so good. It's just so good from the start to the finish, the wear test, the pigmentation, how fine the tip is. It is so fine. And I love a brush tip. You just can't go wrong with this one. I just want to quickly show you guys a side by side of all of these liners next to one another just to see which one's the lightest brown versus the darkest brown and just overall the pigmentation and how thin the lines are. The first one I tried out is Essence. Essence has a really nice shade of brown but that's really it. After that is Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild is definitely a dark brown just like it says on the packaging. L'Oreal has that beautiful fine tip and Maybelline is so similar to the L'Oreal one I don't even know if you guys can tell the difference. Like I said, NYX has that beautiful shade of brown. It is the lightest brown in the category and it's just this beautiful warm medium brown tone. But then again, it is the least wet. And then lastly, my favorite one is the Physicians Formula. The perfect mix and exactly what I'm looking for. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content. And please let me know if you guys enjoy longer format videos and kind of just how I did this whole entire video. I would really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!